I want to share with you an update on my LG top loading washing machine. Uh, the problem that I was having was the IE error and the drain pump was running continuously. Uh, three months ago, I put up a video and I'll uh, put a link to that here uh, where we identified that the problem was a sticking relay and went through some procedures to um, unstick the relay. Uh, subsequent to that, the problem has persisted and we have uh, on multiple occasions gone through the procedure where we, where we take this, uh, you know, slide this unit apart and get to the circuit board in there, uh, beat that relay free. And finally, we've, uh, we've run out of uh, free lives. And so we're going to have to do something on this because what's going on now is I can take the, uh, I can plug in the unit here and turn it on. And that drain pump is just running continuously. So, and, and there's no, uh, there's no one stick, sticking the relay. So, uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you, uh, it's, it's, it's time. The only thing that we can do really next is, uh, to change the circuit board out. We have, uh, identified, uh, you know, I think we've identified which relay it is on there, but what I'm going to have to do, uh, I don't want to put the, the washing machine out of service. So let's get a new, uh, relay or let's get a new circuit board in here. I'll show you how to change that out. And then I'll show you how to source that out for the lowest cost cost. Uh, this particular unit is the, uh, the LG WT 1101 CW. I think the, uh, 1201 CV and 1201 CW are also similar models, uh, that this fix should work on as well. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the, uh, let's, let's pull this thing apart. You may can see right here, uh, we already have, uh, my holes are, are open there. Uh, we, we've been doing this repair so frequently that we have been just keeping our screws out. Uh, but if you are not to that point, you may want to go ahead and take a look at that other video, uh, which may get you a few months, uh, give you t the time to sell some of your, uh, your treasures on eBay to, uh, to, to scratch around some, uh, some cash for the circuit board. Um, so the, um, so the first thing you're going to do is, uh, take off this cap, which ours is here, and then, uh, remove these screws that are in there. Uh, when you get to that point, we can slide this thing to the left and just kind of peel it back and flip this around, put yourself a little towel there to protect the face. And you can also see here that we have um, gotten into gotten into the practice of just kind of leaving our tabs on this, uh, you know, kind of open there, uh, making it easier. And you can see there's some wear where we have pulled this thing off uh, many times. So I'm really excited about putting in a new uh, circuit board there. First things first, you want to make sure your unit is unplugged from the wall, which we have done. Uh, let's go ahead and we can take out our grounding screw here. And then you have just this one screw right here, the grounding screw. And then these little, um, you know, uh, tabs right here can kind of, you kind of peel those, uh, back a little bit to help you gain access to this. And just like before, we're going to take the flathead screwdriver and just kind of pop this thing out. There we go. Okay, and now that exposes the circuit board. Um, now we're gonna take a closer look at this. If we haven't met yet, my name's David, and in my videos I like to share my experiences of trying to save a few bucks with your house, auto, ATV, boat, camper, uh, maintenance, repairs, Anything that uh, you can save a service call on is going to put some money back in your pocket. That's what I like to do. And so uh, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but you never win if you don't try. So uh, let's, let's, let's get into this. And before you set out to order your board, you want to make sure that you're ordering the correct thing. Uh, there is a sticker or there was a sticker on mine with the uh, part number of the board here. You may just want to double check that. Uh, the part number on mine was E B R. 7626102 and before we can replace the the board we have to replace um all of the connectors or we have to uh undo all of the connectors we have 1 2 3 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so nine. And most of these connectors have a little bit of a flap here that you can just kind of pry back to help you pull that thing out. There we go. I see now that I've missed uh, two more connectors here, which will be 10 and 11 there. 10, 11. And these are not fun uh, to get out, but, you know, if you're gentle with them and you take your time and you just, uh, you know, are patient, you can... You can finally get in there and get these things to move around in a way that feels natural. There we go. Just like that. And some of them will have these little double line uh, things. That's where you want to put your thumb and, uh, and, and press, and that's what's going to release that little uh, clip. Okay, we're getting there. Just this one left here. There we go. Now our cable is completely free from the board. It's just time to uh, install our new board and reconnect the cable. Using our Phillips head screwdriver, let's go ahead and remove screws from here, here, three, four, and five. And you may can see these two were not part of the cable, uh, but I had to go ahead and remove those as well. Uh, so with those uh, five screws out, this thing is, you can just pull that thing out, and there's the other side of it. I believe our next step in this is going to be uh, removing this, these little plastic tabs here. Here is the new board, and you can see that it's kind of the, just the top half of this piece right here. So we just have to unsnap these and uh, snap this one in there. And the best way that I could find to do that uh, after breaking the first one was to stick just a, uh, a small flathead screwdriver in there and kind of use a hammer to just get it in there just slightly enough to um, you know, give you enough room there. Now you can just kind of pry pry that thing away and from here on out the rest of it should be easy it's just a matter of taking um, let's see, yep, that just kind of pulls out there so we discard we can discard our old board and now our new board should go in there and we know the orientation because these two little things right here go into that place right there so this should now wait a minute yeah okay so Let's start plugging in some of these. We know these go here and here. This one, I seem to recall it going, I think it slips in here maybe. And then we route it all the way around. Right in here. Back down here, and then, yep, okay, so then this one just goes right in there. Okay, so there we go. Now we're ready to connect the rest of the cables and try it out. Before we do that, though, let's go ahead and put five of our six screws back in here. 
We'll leave this one out because that one goes in the top uh, metal case. Uh, it'll need to, uh, we'll need to wait until we put the metal case on and then we can attach that one. And guys, I'm getting really excited about telling you about the deal. Um, you know, I think I mentioned in the previous video that you could buy one of these control boards on uh, Amazon for $220. And so, you know, generally that's uh, probably the most competitive, um, or one of the most. And so I kept looking around, and uh, I'm going to share with you what I found and even give you a tip that may save you a dollar or two over what I paid. So let's get this hooked up. Okay, so this kind of lays right like that. And let's see here. This one. These go over here. And this is the fun part. So much quicker. That one there, one more here. Okay, and Bob's your uncle. So, now it's just a matter of putting the uh, the old metal case back on. You can kind of start from the back and push your way over. There we go. And that last and final screw we can put down here. And I'm hoping I can find the grounding screw. Put this back over and push that down and slide right. There we go. Okay, and you know, you can put your screws back in there. Uh, we're going to hold off on that just a second to make sure that we've uh, done everything, everything correctly. Okay, so it looks like we have done something wrong. Okay, I see what I've done here. Um, the I had not seated this down in there, and so the button was not making contact. That's an easy fix. I'll just re reset this, and you should be able to test it by feeling the button on the bottom side of this. It should you you should have some resistance. So that's very important here. You need to make sure that the lip of this is underneath that, or this thing's not going to work. All right, and one of the things that I noticed here is that I had to go back and watch the footage as well. There is an empty um, empty connector right there that nothing connects to, so uh, be aware of that. Okay, now I'm plugging her back in. Let's try this out. So much better. Okay, and that's what it should look like. So uh, now let's get into a uh, price on this. I was able to get out of this deal uh, for 
and seventy two dollars five cents. And uh, you know, so the, one of the things that I was looking at on this was, um, you know, Amazon at first had it for two twenty. And then I looked on Walmart, who had uh, the unit for sale uh, for $148 plus shipping plus tax. Um, when the unit came, though, and that's what I ended up ordering it from was Walmart. Uh, when it came, it looked like uh, it was just drop shipped from Appliance Factory Parts. So I went online, found their website, and it looks like if you go, if you order it directly from them, instead of $148, you could get the unit for $147. Uh, plus the nine ninety nine shipping and maybe um, maybe sales tax maybe not I don't know um, so if you um, you know that may be something that can save you a, you know a buck or two on that and uh, yeah so it's uh, overall this uh, repair took about an hour and that was including uh, filming time so it wasn't too bad if you like the video please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing and we'll hope to see you on down the road.